now for those of you familiar with the channel you know I got that cat uh, I got that 941 probably about 2015 2016 maybe and you know I took it straight to the job site um, but I did change the fluids oil engine oil hydraulic oil gear oil and I thought I'd change the air filter but apparently I didn't and like I said those of you familiar with the channel know that I've had track issues uh, with the 941 so it sits a lot and I wasn't too worried about doing a PM on it because like I said it uh, it sits so much but I figured it was it was time again and I went to uh, you know I went to change the air filter that's the first thing I'm gonna do and when I got the thing off, I looked, and that thing is dated 2010. So these air filters have been in there, what, 13 years now? Going on 13 years, 216, 2010, uh, when they were new. But they're not in too bad a shape. They're not clogged, they're, they're dirty. I wouldn't necessarily say filthy, but in any event, you know, like I say, changing the air filter is pretty simple. Here's your primary, you just pop it off, put the new one in, and on most equipment that I've been dealing with, this too, this one too, the inner one, secondary, you just pop off, slide off, and slide in there. Well, that's not the case on the 941. And I didn't see the video where Diesel Creek had changed the air filter on his 977 uh, when he pulled this filter out and explained that the thing's actually bolted inside the air filter housing. So me, not knowing any better, just reached in and felt it was, you know, it wasn't coming out. I just figured it was stuck in there uh, just from sitting in there so long. So I, you know, I just kept wiggling around, wiggling around, and before I knew it, I didn't rip the whole thing off. And ignorant me still didn't look at it closely. And I probably wasted another 15 minutes trying to figure out how I'm gonna get this thing unstuck. When finally I just went online and looked up the part number, and lo and behold, this thing is actually bolted into the air filter housing. So, luckily enough, um, me, with the machine being as old as it is, I thought it'd be kind of hard to find these. So I went straight to eBay and pulled it up. And I was able to locate it. Um, new filters for it. I wasn't too concerned about this one. These are pretty, um, pretty common. But I'd never seen one that was had uh, bolts on it. Um, but I found it. It's, uh, it's the, the Caterpillar part is a 2S 1285 and the Fram part is a CA 237. So I, I actually ordered them off of eBay but this one got canceled and the external which is a CA Fram CA 224 it was supposed to come today but I got a notification it won't be here till Saturday, so I'm still stuck down. But in any event, the one I ordered through CAT came in. I picked it up a little earlier today. Let's pull it out the box and take a look at it. So here we have the new one, and like I said, got six bolts on it, and this actually goes into the canister and mounts to the air intake tube on top of the engine on the 941. And I think it's the same for clearly the 977, but uh, the 941, 951, as well as your 955, I think I'll use 
the same secondary air filter. Um, but look it up for your particular machine. So for now, I'm gonna just stick it back in the box because uh, it'll probably be a day or two. Well, obviously I have to wait for the new primary filter to come in. Um, but just set this back in the box and be a couple days and we'll get it stuck on the machine and I'll be back up and running. So I'm back at the 941. Got the two filters in. Again, the primary is a Fram CA244. Secondary is a Cat 2S 1285. I was thinking I could put it back on without taking this hood cover off, but not being able to raise the arms where I can get straight access into there, I think the hood's gonna have to come off. I um, mean, if you go to Diesel Creek, and shout out to Diesel Creek, uh, cause I saw him change his after it already started to disassemble mine. And on his, uh, he has a 977, um, same filters. Uh, like I said, I think it's just gonna be easier, although a bit more, well, not so much time consuming, but it'd be easier to take this hood off and then you can line the canister back up because these bolts have to go through the canister and mount the canister to the intake. Well, I take that back. I'm not going to take this cover off because my breather inlet is permanently attached to the pipe coming out of the breather canister or the filter canister, and I'm not gonna fight with that thing right now to take it off. What I'll do is I'll get another one eventually down the road. Um, I see there's, there's space to get it on there, but it's gonna be tight. So you probably hear a lot of grunting. Um, no swearing, but it won't be pleasant. Now that secondary filter comes with two gaskets. One that's gonna go on the inside of the canister against that surface and then one on the outside where you just saw me scrape that old gasket off which goes on the outside so first thing we do is stick this back inside that canister and line these holes up first thing we do is get out the old gasket intake to
on the back side, and I can't see the holes, but I'm on this side, I can't lift it. making it difficult and, and way harder than what it needs to be is this arm is sitting right in the way so you can't see and you got to reach around it to line the holes up and with that cap being permanently connected to that tube I'm able to pull that off so I can pull the cover off the hood off and just slip it up on there. So that's why I'm fighting it the way that I am and making it a whole lot harder than it needs to be or than what it should be. So yeah, I've decided to go ahead and remove the cover. There's a reason I can't get the canister lined up with the hole is there's no room for play when that tube comes up through the cover and I don't have enough room to bring the bolts up and slide it in there straight. So I'm gonna loosen the cover Then I should have enough room where I can slide it, pull up on that canister and slide it back in there. I tried every which way to line that canister up with the intake tube and it just wasn't happening. So I'm back out here again, brought some more tools with me to take this cover off so I can get some wiggle room and get this thing lined up.
It's in there, but I, I gotta tell you, if you're going, when you change the filter on this machine, or this series of machines, take this cover off. But there was very little play, very little tolerance, lining those bolts back up. But I got it on there, then I tighten it down, and get this machine back in operation. But this is way harder than what it needed to be. Much harder. I recommend doing it how I just finished doing it. Often on these old machines, stuff don't want to line back up in the holes. Especially when you have to go through a bracket. sticking around till the end I got it all back together now I'm gonna fire up and see how she runs but in the process of putting the cover back on I see that I have a broken bracket and I thought maybe I had broke it when I lifted it with the excavator but that crack has been been there a while you know no shiny metal so uh, if you notice when I run this thing, it rattles a lot. One, my roll cage has some busted welds on it that I need to get to a shop and get done. And it looks like my cover might have been rattling as well with only one bracket holding it. Um, I'm a, rather than re weld this, I'm gonna see if I can buy a new bracket. If not from Cat, I'll check some of these aftermarket places, see if I can get a new bracket. Otherwise, uh, I know a couple machine shops that can make me a new one. Now I'm going to fire up, see how she goes.
again folks thanks for sticking around till the end and as you can see with the arms raised it's easy to get to the bolts that you need the six right here on the filter canister and then these two on this side and two on that side of the bracket for the cover uh, it hadn't been a good week with what I thought was you know a couple minute filter change on this machine turned into a three-day ordeal and then the excavator somewhere I got trash and water some bad fuel shut that down that was a three-day ordeal but I got her back up and running uh, I have a link down to that video in the description on this one but again thanks for watching feel free to comment and most definitely subscribe I'll see you on the next one